The reading this week is the passage where Jesus speaks of how in his father's house there are many rooms. Um, we haven't got that many rooms in the vicarage, but uh, for this week's notices, I'm on the upstairs landing where there are at least a few doorways leading off. So, and the notices this week, um, today is the day when, uh, had it not been for the lockdown, we would have been celebrating St John of Beverley. Uh, his feast day was on Thursday, the 7th of May, and we had planned the big civic service uh, for this afternoon. Uh, that obviously isn't happening, but before the lockdown, um, I had invited Bishop James Jones, uh, who was a former Bishop of Hull and was latterly Bishop of Liverpool, to be the guest preacher. Uh, and Bishop James had already written his sermon uh, before the lockdown, and he's been kind enough to record it. And so that can be accessed online. So you can get a flavour of the John of Beverly service, even though it didn't actually happen. Um, so we're very grateful to Bishop James for providing that. Today is also the start of Christian Aid Week. And again, that takes a slightly different form this year from normal. But uh, the Christian Aid Week is happening and uh, there are details of how to donate on the Christian Aid, Aid website. Uh, which is simply christianaid.org.uk uh, and the, uh, the Minster Weekly e-letter provides a link. Uh, it's possible to gift aid donations and it's also possible to phone them in uh, and the, the phone number is on the website there. This coming Thursday uh, we are beginning to run uh, the prayer course which is a national course exploring different aspects of the Lord's Prayer and in the process touching on all sorts of different styles of prayer from uh, praise and adoration through intercession uh, through silent contemplative prayer and addressing on the way such questions as, as why prayers aren't always answered uh, in the way that we would wish. We thought this was a course that could be run successfully online. Uh, you can uh, see the national course and the video sessions if you go on to theprayercourse.org. And what I suggest is that if you wish to take part in the course that you look at the video session before Thursday night and then we will meet together on Zoom at half past seven on Thursday the 14th in order to discuss the first video clip uh, with a number of discussion questions. The Zoom link can be found on the Beverly Minster and Daughter Church's Facebook page. Uh, so do join us for that if you can. Uh, the course will run for eight sessions, uh, but it won't be essential for you to uh, feel you've got to sign up for every one of them. So do join us for the first one and see how you go. And finally, uh, we've been delighted to see how many folk have been joining in the coffee and chat online sessions uh, after the Sunday service and also midweek on Wednesday mornings. It's been lovely being able to see people and hear a little bit of people's news. The drawback with the format with so many people taking part is it's not possible to have very much of a conversation. So we're hoping to set up a number of smaller groups of maybe just four or five or six people where it's possible to have a proper conversation. And we've got several folk who have agreed to host uh, such small groups. And so if that's of interest, uh, you can sign up on the Beverly Minster and Daughter Church's Facebook page. And uh, there'll be a variety of, of small groups running through the week which will just be there for folk to uh, meet each other and uh, have a bit of a natter and see how everybody's doing during the lockdown. So if that's of interest, look on the Facebook page, Beverly Minster and Daughter Churches, and, uh, and sign up for the, the slot that suits you. I think that's all the notices from me. Uh, so from the uh, landing with many rooms, uh, I bid you good well, good, good, goodbye and have a good week. Bye for now.